Hello students, today we will quickly solve the exercise of your NCRT chapter friction. So let us start. Number one, friction opposes the motion between the surface in contact with each other. Always remember that if this is the surface and this is an object and it's moving on the right hand side, then opposite to the motion of the object, friction force acts. It always acts opposite to the motion of the direction of object. Friction depends on the nature of surfaces. You can write nature, you can also write roughness. Greater the roughness, more will be the friction. Friction produces heat. Sprinkling of powder on the carom board reduces friction. Sliding friction is dash than static friction. It is lesser than static friction. Okay, the order is first maximum is static friction. Then we have the sliding friction. And then minimum is rolling friction. This is the order. Please remember this. And if you want to know how and why, we see my le lecture. It's given. Four children were asked to arrange forces due to rolling, static and sliding friction in a decreasing order. Their arrangements are given below. Now you know maximum is static, then sliding, then rolling. So correct answer is 2C. Alida runs her toy car on a dry marble floor, wet marble floor, newspaper and towel. You have to arrange them. The force of friction acting on the car on different surfaces in increasing order. So minimum friction will be on the wet marble floor, then dry, then newspaper and finally towel. So correct option will be 3A. Suppose your writing desk is tilted a little. A book kept on it starts sliding down. Show the direction of friction force acting on it. So just draw a sliding table draw a book kept on it obviously it's going to slide down like this under the effect of gravity so what did i tell you that friction force always acts opposite to the motion of the object so the motion is towards the left hand side so frictional force will act towards the right hand side okay you will you spill a bucket of soapy water on a marble floor accidentally would it make it easier or more difficult for you to walk on the floor and why? Okay, so let me write the answer over here. Number five. It will be more difficult to walk, sorry, to walk on a marble floor with soapy water all right now uh, you also have to give the reason why so why will it be more difficult because soapy water fills the floor with irregularities okay so what happens okay the number of irregularities decreases the floor becomes smooth okay you can write down as the soapy water makes the floor the marble floor smoother by reducing friction therefore there is no sufficient grip between between the floor and our feet 
grip between the floor and our feet. This makes it difficult to walk on. Okay, now coming to question number six. Explain why sportsmen use shoes with spikes. So let me write the answer for you. Why do sportsmen use shoes with spikes? Question number six. Spikes increases spikes increases friction and give better grip. To walk, play, or run on the ground. Okay, it avoids or it prevents the sportsman. from falling while playing or running okay question number seven let's check out what is question number seven question number seven says iqbal has to push a lighter box and seema has to push a similar heavier box on the same floor who will have to apply a larger force and why? Seema will have to apply a larger force because she has to put, push a heavier box. And uh, your frictional force depends on the mass. So heavier the box, greater will be the frictional force. Okay, I am writing the answer down for you. Question number 7. Frictional force. is directly proportional to the mass okay so heavier box will put more force on the floor surface as compared to the lighter box to the lighter box all right so uh, therefore, what will happen? Seema will have to apply a larger force due to more interlocking between heavier box with the floor surface thereby increasing the frictional force Sima will have to apply a greater force to push the box as she has to overcome 
more frictional force. Okay. Now, let us go to the next question. Question number eight. Explain why sliding friction is less than static friction. So now why is sliding friction less than static frictions? Remember, when the objects are at rest, the interlocking of irregularities between the two surfaces is higher than when the object is moving. Okay, so when the if the interlocking will be more, greater will be the friction. So when the objects are moving, there is less interaction between the surface. That is why sliding friction is less than static friction. Okay, let me write this down for you because it's an important question. Question number eight. When the objects are at rest. The interlocking of irregularities, irregularities between the two surfaces in contact is more okay compared to when the objects are moving are moving all right so, what will happen when objects are moving? There is less interaction between their surface. When objects are moving, there is less interaction between their surface. Okay, that is why sliding friction is less than static friction. Okay. I hope my handwriting is clear. Question number 9. Next time I will try to write in prints. Okay. Since cursive becomes a little bit difficult for everyone to understand. Number 8 done. Question number 9. Give examples to show that friction is both a friend and a foe. See, friction acts. As a friend also, friction acts as a foe also. Friction is actually a necessary evil. What do you mean by necessary evil? It is necessary. You need friction. Without friction, we cannot avoid a lot of work. And it's a foe also because it produces heat. It results in loss of energy. It results in wear and tear. So there are many examples to show friction act as a friend. We are able to walk because of frictional forces between our ground and the feet uh, we are able to write because of the friction forces between the ballpoint and the paper surface the nails and the screws stick to the wall surface because of friction okay so there are many more such examples to show that without friction we will not be able to achieve a particular work like we cannot walk without friction we cannot write teachers cannot write on blackboard without friction right Nuts and screws are not going to hold uh, onto the wall without friction. So these are the examples which shows that friction is a friend. Now there are a few examples that show that friction also act as a foe. Like the wear and tear of the soles of our shoe is due to friction. You see people who walk more their shoes get worn out very easily and very 
fast okay similarly machine gets heated up because of friction due to friction machine and vehicles they consume more fuel and uh, in, in maintenance cost also increases because of friction the tire deflates and it is difficult to move the vehicle because increased friction between the tire and the road surface so these are some examples which shows that friction also acts as a foe all right question number 10 explain why objects moving in fluids must have special shapes see uh, we have understood that friction ex exerts between uh, uh, two surfaces in contact now when any object is moving in fluid fluid also exerts friction fluid friction is also known as drag what is it known as drag okay so in order to overcome the fluid friction or in order to overcome the drag to minimize the fluid friction the objects must have a minimal surface okay so what kind of uh, surface it should be having sometimes uh, spherical shapes or streamline shape okay so airplanes jets raindrops they have streamlined surface streamlined curved surface to reduce or overcome the air friction or drag all right question number 10 also answered so that's all of the exercise questions if you have any queries you can mention it in the comment section thank you please like share and subscribe